Thank you, everybody. Isn't it amazing? You know, you you all know you all know Dave's story. So I'm not going to go into that because this is about Ramos, Campion, and Hernandez. And um, it's amazing to me that here are three Hispanic men that, that are here. They were protecting our country. Okay. They're protect, protecting our country. And here they are. They're busy yelling about Minuteman and yelling about the borders. We're here to talk about... We're here to talk about the fact that three Hispanic men huh? oh. that, you got it? That's better? Uh, that three Hispanic men Hispanic men that are here legally that have decided to protect you and I and protect our borders and how do we repay that loyalty? We put them in prison. I gotta tell you, now we find out that guess what? People in the our government, Homeland Security, lied to Congress, told lies about these guys, called them bad border agents. And then finally the other day, because they were under oath, had to admit that they lied. Why isn't that on the front page of the LA Times? Why? And here we get demonstrated by probably a bunch of illegal aliens. And what are we trying to do? We're trying to protect three Hispanic men that were here legally. And what's they, what do they have to complain about for crime and sakes? I'll tell you what, I lost a son. It destroyed our lives. The only thing that's kept us alive is fighting back. And fortunately, we got a chance to meet some terrific people. This is an angel right here. She's tried to be strong. But you know what? She's destroyed. Her family's destroyed. Their finances are destroyed. They're hoping and praying that, th that her husband gets out of prison for crime and his sake. For what? For protecting you and me from drug dealers. What is going on here? It should be Bush that's in prison. It should be Sutton that's in prison. It should be the lying creeps from Homeland Security that are in prison. This has got to stop. We've got to start protecting and giving our police officers the benefit of the doubt. These guys here that are doing the job out on the street, if one of them had to use their weapon, they're the ones that would get persecuted, not the person that caused the problem. This has to stop. We have to get these guys out of jail. Then we have to start fighting for our police officers. Police officers shouldn't have to be politically correct. They should protect us. God bless each one of you. I love each one of you. And thank you so much. And I'm glad that she's here. But imagine the pain. Imagine if it was your loved one that was killed, or imagine it was your loved one that was in prison and getting beaten up in prison. Imagine it. Think deep in your hearts. Imagine that. My God, this has got to stop. Dear God, stop this.